Alright, so this is going to be an Ed Puzzle on solving with uh, the percent triangle. So the percent triangle is just a fact family triangle where you're connecting the part, the whole, and the percent in um, a family. And they're connected by either division or multiplication. Okay, so you place your part at the top, whole on the left, and then you write percent. And then just remember it's AAD, which stands for as a decimal. And then you have division between the part and the whole, division between the part and the percent as a decimal, and then multiplication between the whole and the percent as a decimal. So if you're looking for the part, all you'd have to do is uh, you would take your whole, which should be given to you, multiply it by the percent as a decimal, and that would give you the part. If you're looking for the whole, they should give you the part and the percent as a decimal. And then you would just merely divide the part by the percent as a decimal, and that would give you the whole answer. And then finally, if you're looking for the percent, you would do the part divided by the whole, and that would give you the percent, but that would give you the percent as a decimal, so you end up having to multiply it by 100, or moving it uh, two places to the right uh, to get your final answer. All right, so let's try out a couple of these. So we have this problem here. A cereal box says that it now contains 20% more. Originally, it came with 18.5 ounces of cereal. How much cereal does the box come with now? So when I'm looking at this problem, I need to realize what do they give me and what is missing. And then I can apply that to the triangle. So there's this reference to 20% more. And it says originally it was 18.5 ounces. When I hear the word originally or the old price or something like that, that's always the whole. That's always the 100%. So I mark that there. So this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the part. So I'm going to put the 18.5 down here in my triangle. I'm going to put 20%. But then I need to remember, oh, oh no, I don't leave it as 20. I have to transform it into decimal and then I just multiply 18.5 times 0 0.2 and that gives me 3.7 and 3.7 isn't the answer it just that's how much has been increased so I just need to take that final answer and add it to the 18.5 And that would give me a final answer of 22.2 .2 ounces. So the triangle isn't going to always be the perfect uh, way of getting to the answer, but you can use it to get there, just like we did on this one here. Let's try another one. A coat selling for $120 is discounted 25%. What is the sale price? So when I see something like, what is the sale price, immediately I don't know what this is and that's what I'm gonna to have to be looking for so I know the 120 is the whole and the percent is 25 percent but remember I have to make it into a decimal so it's 0 0.25 so to find the part I'm gonna do 120 times 0 0.25 and that's gonna be an answer of $30 but remember, that's what's discounted. So I need to take the 120 and subtract 30 from it. And that would give me $90. And that should be my answer. Let's look at another one. It says a pair of shoes is decreased from $80 to $24. What is the, the percent of decrease? So again, I have to figure out, well, they're giving me the part and they give me the whole, but which one is which? Well, this is where I started. So that's the old. So 80 is going to go here. And the part is the 24. So using the triangle, and I know that that's, 20, uh, the, part, that's the part because it went from here to here. And I'm going to do 24 divided by 80. which is going to give me the answer of 0 0.3. But remember, that is 
the percent as a decimal. So I need to convert that back to a percent by multiplying by 100, and I get 30%. So what was the percent decrease? Well, it went from 80 to 24, meaning that the 24 is 30%. So it was a decrease of not 30%, but rather 70% because it went from here to here. This is 30%. That is 70, I'm oh, sorry, that is 100%. So it went down 70%. All right, let's do another. So this one says, in a retail store, the prices were decreased by 60%. What would the original price of an item, uh, what would be the original price of an item if the sale price was twenty dollars, so you have the whole part and percent as a decimal. So I don't know the whole because it says what was the original price. So that's what I'm looking for. I do know that this twenty dollars is the part because that's the sale price. But then it says that it's sixty percent. Well, this isn't sixty percent, okay? Because it decreased by six percent. So I, the percent is actually forty percent. Okay. The triangle doesn't help me figure that out. This comes uh, from understanding the problems. So the triangle, I'm just showing you how to use it, not how to interpret their word problems. That's what we need to discuss in class. So this represents 40%. So knowing that, I can say 20 goes here, 40% goes here, but that's really 0 0.4. So I'm going to do 20 divided by 0 0.4 and that gives me $50 so the whole or the original price was $50 okay so hopes hopefully this little ed puzzle uh, gives you a sense of how to use the triangle again it doesn't help you to always figure out the word problem but it should help you when you have to get to the part of solving the interpretation of the word problem is something we're still going to learn in class